Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Joe. I'm Kat, and today's video is going to be a recap of that Amazon return pallet that we purchased. Uh, that will be linked below. So after opening up 200 packages and having over 300 items, we decided that we would pull the top 10 items uh, and show you what exactly you can get in an Amazon return pallet. Uh, before doing so, I thought we'd do a little insight, a little quick insight of who exactly we are and what we do. So I am an online reseller. I've been selling online for over 10 years, but for the last four, I've been doing it full time as a full time business. Um, Joe here. I work just a typical full time job. Hopefully one day soon, I'll be joining her full time with this. Yeah, it's something that we have so much fun doing together. Uh, we love treasure hunting, we love finding deals, we love buying pallets. And why wouldn't we work together um, full time? So getting to this video. I'm gonna break down the, the total numbers quickly. Um, so we rented a van from Home Depot for about yeah. four hours. It cost us uh, 117. Gas for it was uh, $40. Then um, the actual cost of the, the pallet was 1949.25. So that gave us a total amount cost all in to our house. Uh, 210677 and that's kind of scary you knowing we spent that much money on 300 items that we don't even know was inside but right now we'll show you the top 10 high valued items that we found um, but yeah let's get to it okay so these aren't high value but because I sell heavily in um, health and beauty I got excited with the hair product so these will be quick sales for us and I included them because that's what I sell. So I'm going to be honest. So we got one of these and one of these. Next we got a Samsung SSD 980 one terabyte, some kind of processor. And the retail was pretty good on that one. It was about $200. Yeah, I think so. Next was the Ancestry DNA kit. That's a pretty cool find. We also picked up this $50 gift card to a whole bunch of restaurants. Yeah, chain restaurants here in Ontario, Canada. Uh, so this cute little keyboard. Kind of just looked like a generic keyboard, but the value was it had some sort of value. I remember when I researched it. It's a cool old keyboard. Yeah. We got this one here. Surprised me. It's a Auto In Dash Car Entertainment. It's actually about four four fifty retail. Uh, um, and yeah, and this was the highest value item. This is the yeah. Side. This is it. Highest retail item. Um, and then we've got a bunch of these. I think we also have a few more. It's a whole bunch of different SD cards. So these should be quick little sales too. This one here was the one that shocked me the most. It's a SanDisk one terabyte and the retail on it's pretty crazy. Yeah, so if you didn't see the video uh, prior to this one, it'll be linked below and it just shows us unboxing and unpackaging all the items. Would we do this again? I think so. I think we would do this again for the thrill. Um, it's a lot of money that's been invested in it. Do I think we'll get it back? I do think so because we have some high value stuff here. Um, and even if we get 50 or 60% of the retail value, um, it's still something good. We also have about five bins that I'm staring at of inventory that will go on eBay and it will go uh, in the spring as garage sale items. So I do think we'll make our money back. I don't think we're going to make like this. This isn't a gold mine skid. Um, but again, you never know what you can get. So it's something that I think we would probably do again. Yeah. Um, but quickly too, I also wanted to mention we sold Oh yes. Uh, we sold the Magic Mouse on Poshmark Canada for 60. Yeah. After fees was 46.44 
take home. And that sold within like 20 minutes of me listing it. So that's a really good flip. Yep. We also sold the Blink Mini camera, indoor camera, 35 cash on Facebook Marketplace. We've been getting a lot of interest on Facebook Marketplace for the Ancestry, the keyboard, also all the smaller items like the books and stuff that we found. Um, but yeah, so we're still owing about 2,025 left on this, uh, on this skit. So we're got a long way to go. Yeah. And we just wanted to be really honest. Like even if you saw the past video, a lot of these things we pulled out on camera. So there was nothing like behind the scenes when we were opening up other packages that really surprised us other than the ancestry. So this is just an honest review. You have to take it with a grain of salt. It's kind of like no risk, no reward. You do not know what you're getting. It's something that we would definitely do again. Um, and would you like to see more of these? Also too, I wanted to add that our, the purpose of our YouTube channel is to show you that you can make money online reselling items, either from skids, garage sales, thrift stores. We're gonna take you and we're gonna show you how we do it and how we buy and sell. And adding to what Joe said, reselling, we're not the first, we're not the last. It's not the easiest, it's not the hardest work, and it's not the most conventional way to make money, but it allows us to have a little bit of extra freedom and just a lot of fun doing it. So please like and subscribe and follow us on our journey here on YouTube as we continue our journey in reselling. So I just wanna say thank you for watching our video today. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And we cannot wait to produce more content of what we do. Take care. See you next week.